What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with kind of a kind of a discussion style video because I have a little bit on my mind here and a lot of people have been talking about it around that I have seen on Instagram. I've seen some people mention it here and there and I was wondering where you guys stood, you know, what, what the thinking was or whatever the hell. Maybe you guys are thinking outside of only my thinking and I like to get your discussion points and what you may be thinking down in the comment section below, of course. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into today's topic, which is going to be all about AEW action figures, AEW wrestling figures from Jazzwares, of course. And today's topic kind of is just going to be all about like, I, I, I just feel like it's been quiet, hadn't it? I feel like it's been relatively quiet. We have not heard much of anything from AEW Jazz Wares or anything about, you know, their action figures coming soon. You know, Ringside Collectibles has not posted anything up for pre-order that's new, of course. Like, of course, we've had a few Ringside exclusives here and there. We did get the King of Hearts Owen Hart not too, too long ago. I think it was about a month ago, maybe a month and a half or so. And then we just recently got the X Caliber ringside exclusive figure, which did complete our commentary team. I still haven't reviewed the damn figure. It's over here, Men on Card. I thought I pre ordered an extra one for Men on Card, and apparently it never showed up, so I'm guessing maybe I didn't pre order it. Could have swore I pre ordered it, or maybe this is, I, I don't know. I, I thought I had two of them. Turns out that may not be the case. So then I was like, maybe I shouldn't review it, and I should just leave this one Men on Card and just get the hell over it. But uh, none the, nonetheless, we did get that figure. We got the X Caliber, completed our commentary team. But outside of that, we have not seen new images of AEW Unrivaled Series number 12. Like, we do not have any images of AEW Series 12, you know, AEW Unrivaled Series number 12. The last series that we have is going to be Series number 11, which is on the Black Friday sale right now. They, they've added them to the Black Friday sale. Now, they're not like on Ultra Black Friday, Cyber Monday style sale that a lot of the other figures on Ringside Collectibles have been, but they have been up there, you know, and, and if you guys were wondering, we do have a full look up at, at what Series 12 is going to be we just don't know what, you know, they look like entirely. We, we saw prototypes of those at Fan Fest. You know, we got to see uh, images of what we're going to be getting, but in that set, we do have Isaiah Cassidy, we have Mark Quinn, we have Jamie Hayter, John Moxley, Cash Wheeler, Dax Horowitz. We get two different tag teams there. First time on the line, Jamie Hayter, and we haven't seen anything about these figures. The last time we saw them was months ago, and we haven't had any more updates. We haven't seen any more images or anything like that. I'm trying to think when the hell it was that we saw those figures. I'm trying to remember off the top of my dome what fan fest that was sometimes things just run together and i completely forget about them all right so i found it, it was september 4th 2022 so three months ago we saw fan fest from all out it was AEW all out fan fest 2022 we got to see a bunch of different figures on display a bunch of stuff and actually it was two months ago that we reviewed aew on that series five you know with sammy Guevara and sean spears kenny omega brian danielson and then it was also two months ago that we got aew on rival 11 featuring Chris Jericho, Kip Sabian, Penelope Ford, Jungle Boy, Adam Cole, that wave there. And it was also almost two months ago that we got the CM Punk ringside exclusive first dance figure. That was back on October 7th. So it's been two whole months since we, you know, reviewed that figure here on the channel. And that is the last thing we saw, you know. We, we haven't seen anything since then. Again, AEW and Rival 12, we got to see the prototypes on display, but we did not get to see any more promo images of those figures. I felt like, you know, we were getting figures at, you know, a clip, you know, every month or so we would get new figures, but no AEW and Rival 12, no AEW and Match Series 6. Now, is this one of those instances where they're just kind of giving it a long break there. You know, I've heard things on the rumor mill or I've heard some people rattling. It may not even be rumors per se. I think that's kind of a dumb thing to say. It wasn't, it's not necessarily rumors, quote unquote, but it's more of just people speculating what the hell the deal is. You know, some of these figures that, you know, were highly sought after. I mean, you can get the full set of five AEW Unrivaled or Unmatched Series 3, I'm sorry. You can get that full wave for like 45 bucks or something like that on Ringside Collectibles. So, you know, a lot of people have been rumbling saying, you know, oh, they're in trouble or oh this, oh that, all these different things. And I just, I don't buy into that, you know. I just think, I don't I don't know what the whole deal is, to be honest with you. But you guys know we also had some Supreme figures coming. We got the Supreme Collection Series 2 of Kenny Omega and Malachi Black. Not too, too long ago as well. But we have the Walmart exclusive Kenny coming that we know. We just got the Supreme Edition Walmart exclusive Cody. We also had Series 1 starting to hit retail. I'm sure Series 2 will probably hit at the beginning of 2023. But, uh, you know, we have all these waves announced, but we don't have any more updated images, and I think not seeing AEW and Rival 12 or AEW and Match Series 6 featuring Brody Lee in the suit, you know, Ruby Soho, all those different figures right there. You know, 
know, a lot of people have just been speculating and just wondering where the hell they've been. You know, we really haven't seen anything from Jeremy either. Jeremy's been quiet about AEW figures. Ringside hasn't posted any new things about it. I don't think my boy Matt's even posted anything about new figures coming soon. I think the most recent thing that he posted about is just the, you know, he, he posted about the two-pack Young Bucks. He posted some different stuff here and there, some custom work and stuff. But we haven't seen any stuff that we do not have in hand just yet. You know, we had the GameStop exclusive Kenny Omega as well. Target exclusive Darby, Target exclusive Sammy, you know, starting hit retail. But we have not seen new images or new things to be hyped. And I think people are worried because we haven't seen new pre-orders. And that's another thing. Not only have we not seen new images of AEW and Rival Series 12, we haven't even seen, you know, new pre-orders. I think that's another thing that people have been, you know, speculating about is just where are the pre-orders? You know, AEW and Rival 13, big wave a lot of people are waiting on because it does feature Danhausen. You know, that wave's got Danhausen, Wardlow, Sting, Darby Allen, The Butcher, The Blade, and The Bunny. You guys know that that wave did feature Matt and Jeff Hardy, but they were removed from the lineup, of course, with Jeff and, and all of that stuff. Hope he's doing well, by the way. Can't wait to see him return, maybe. Hopefully that will be coming to fruition very soon. But yeah, AEW 13 hasn't been put up for pre-order. 14 hasn't been put up for pre-order. There hasn't been really any news or any updates or anything like that. And hopefully that will, hopefully that'll come soon, you know. And I don't know, it, do, do people think that the line is healthy? I've heard a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people on social media, different groups I'm in on Facebook. I mean, I see it all over Instagram, people sharing it on stories and stuff like that. Uh, I've seen it in my comment section. I've seen people saying that, you know, that the, the line has taken a huge dip and that, you know, it started off kind of rocky. It entered kind of a nice zone there where, like, people were pretty excited and hitting the clips of the figures pretty nicely. And then they just, you know, they, they've kind of taken a pretty big fall and they don't like the quality of the figures and this, that, and the other. And uh, I wanted to know where you guys were at, of course. But I think we have seen some fantastic figures from AEW and Jazzwares. Now, I will say that there are definitely ways that they could improve the figures. I think that, you know, some of their scaling issues get on my nerves. You know, that's some of the things that I have a problem with with the figures. You know, uh, I think that their elbows and their lower forearms get very loose sometimes. Of course, the staining is a big issue as well. But I think at the same time, you're getting a lot of great things from these figures. And I like that they do differentiate between themselves and the Mattel WWE action figures, elites, ultimates, things of that nature. But at the same time, you know, uh, I think they're doing their own thing. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that the hiatus goes away soon because I really, really want to see the Series 12 come to fruition and hopefully the line is in good shape and all those different things. I'm going to continue to buy them at a clip. I'm going to continue to buy them in full waves and review them here on the channel as long as they'll go. And, you know, we've only seen 11 series. There's plenty of series to come. And they have like four or five, I think, series announced in the future, even unmatched figures right? But we haven't seen an unrivaled set or an unmatched set, and you would think that out of those two lines, you would see something else be brought to fruition. Maybe Supreme Series 3 would get new images or new prototypes or whatever. And I don't know when the next Fan Fest is. I don't know that off the top of my dome, but hopefully we'll get some information coming out of the next Fan Fest or leading into the next Fan Fest because a lot of people again are speculating about it. I don't even know what the next big pay-per-view is for, for AEW off the top of my dome. I have so much other other BS running through my brain on a constant basis. I know Revolution's in March, but do they not have a big pay-per-view way before that? Like, I know they have Final Battle 2022. Are they going to be doing a Fan Fest for that? That that would be like this weekend. I don't think we're doing a Fan Fest this weekend. You know what I mean? So, is March the next one? Like, that's forever away. So, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what the deal is there, but maybe we'll get some more information. Maybe me posting this video, we can get some more information or something like that, but these are the things that I'd like to know. I don't know if you guys are wondering the same thing or maybe you guys were like, yeah, I don't really give a damn about those figures or whatever. And if you if you feel that way, let me know down in the comment section below. I want to know your honest feelings on not only the AEW figures, but in terms of what you like about them, what you don't like. I think that they have been super fun. I think that they haven't been flawless, of course, but what company starting out, you know, in this space isn't going to make some mistakes and learn some things along the way. The biggest thing is just taking those mistakes in, owning them, and then correcting them for the future. But I'm a big fan of the line. I love the Supremes, the Unrivaled, the Unmatched. Anything that they put out, I'm definitely going to get my hands on, grab them, review them, and it's going to be fantastic. Speaking of which, I think people are starting to find Nick and Matt Jackson in their Street Fighter gear, so maybe we'll get those figures in our hands very soon. Still think they should have done a three-pack, but who the hell am I, Brad? I'm just a guy here yelling into a microphone to you guys. Nonetheless, man, I'd like to know where you stand. Were you wondering the same thing? You know, where the AEW figure's at? It has been a minute since we got our unrivaled or unmatched figures in, and it, uh, it's been a minute. But anyways, man, that is gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on the AEW action figures. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you waiting for them to return? Do you even give a damn if they
they come back? I'd like to know all the different things down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Leave me your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one.